Hello there everybody, my name is Master Rolf, and so welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Today we're going to be playing Crusader Kings 2 using the new DLC known as the Rajas of India, which allows us to play as several different Indian kingdoms, each divided between different religions known as Jainism, Hinduism, and Buddhism. Right over there, I almost confused my religions there, but there we go, we're all back and on track. So, we're going to be playing as the Janus faction because one, my knowledge of Crusader Kings 2 is very murky, so if you guys see any newbie plays, do forgive me, or at least show a little bit of mercy when you spank me on my behind. And on top of that, I do kind of like how the Janus play out. So we're going to be playing as the high and mighty 67 year old over here. He has a rockin' beard, look at that beard. White as snow. So let's start this off right, initializing the game, adapting history, and here we are, our little kingdom over here, smack dab in the middle of the Indian subcontinent. Now our neighbors are a little bit weak, we have Bana, we have the Vengi Chaluka, and we have the, I can't really see them because the elephant is blocking that word, the Palava, the Palava, I think that's an E, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I can probably check right over here. Ah, Palava Raj. Okay, so we have those three nations, and up north we have the superpower that could declare war on us, but usually they're actually dealing with a lot of rebels at the start of the game, which means we don't have to worry about early game aggression from them, but we will have to worry about them in the future when we want to unite all of India. We also have some territories over here we can conquer. And... Uh, Sri Lanka, which is off the coast. Oh, and look! The Maldives! The Maldives! Oh my god! They actually have the Maldives. You know what? I want to play as the Maldives one day. But anyway, first and foremost, let's pick an ambition. Alright, so, we have no wife. We're lonely. We're a lonely 67-year-old, but we're gonna die soon, so it doesn't really matter. We have two children, and our son is heir to the kingdom, as well as a couple of territories, which is pretty good. He also has children, so all around pretty good start he does like me and i like him so good reciprocated love that's always awesome i do have a lot of territories i'm actually at my max size for the amount of titles i can actually control which is um might be a little bit troublesome later on if i continue to stay alive but let's let's worry about staying alive first so let's see pick an ambition oh whoops i'm already on the ambition tab see that's how newbie I am currently so get married well, that's not gonna happen especially since I probably can't even find a wife let's see we have a bunch of courtiers yep can't marry look at the courtier minus 300 prestige nope not doing that yeah, there's no woman that's not a courtier in my possession wow that sucks oh well um that kind of blows I could take a cop cubine but you know what no I'm not gonna do that we're gonna play this by the books Improve stewardship. Well, let's see, our stewardship is about four, right? Yeah, we can do that. We can also improve our diplomacy a little bit. Because our diplomacy is a little bit <laughs> not existent at this point. I I'm shy, you know, I'm shy, I'm diligent. Wait, let's look at our traits a little bit. We have an intricate web weaver. We have the warrior cast. We follow this particular branch of Jainism known as Deg Gambara. We're chastised. Wait, how are we chastised if we have kids? I guess, I guess that's after I produced some children. I'm diligent, I'm brave, it's good, and I have a combat modifier, but I'm shy. I'm, I'm a little bit of a cool, so I like to stay on Tumblr a lot. Okie dokie. So you know what, I think amassing wealth is probably the easiest thing to do, but that's... Ooh, prestige. Well, we're not going to stay alive for that. Hmm, I think actually stewardship would be the best. Well, let's see. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Purity of 500. What is our purity right now? 20. Not gonna happen. Okay, let's get stewardship. That seems like the most likely thing we can do right now. And had a loss on succession. Blah, blah, blah. He's gonna die. All these places are gonna die. And then afterwards, everyone's gonna take the territories. Well, I could probably give them to... A couple of my vassals, so it should be a-okay. We can create a couple titles. You can press a du jour claim. I don't want to declare war on my Hindu brother just yet. That would be completely suicidal and also contradictory to my previous plans, actually. Just a plot. Let's see now. 
Invite a holy man. Huh. Invite a holy man. Get a personal wealth. Invite a noble to court. These do sound really okay right now. But you know what? I might just want to try to take some territory right now. So, hold on a sec. Let us... First and foremost, fabricate claims. And we kind of want to fabricate them on... Hold on, let me look at these territories. Ooh, look at that. Two buildings. The hypest place in the entire solar system. You know what? I might as well want to try and conquer this territory, actually. Who's his liege, actually? Whoops. Whoopsie. Him. This fat man over here. Look at his triple chin. Alright, we'll have to deal with him soon. So you know what? Let's fabricate a claim. On this territory. And afterwards, we can train the troops in our capital right over here. And oversee construction. And we don't have to do anything just yet. Research economy tech or or we can collect taxes and you know what getting money is probably a really good thing but i kind of want to research economy tech actually for the time being considering our wealth is now nine dollars a month that's pretty good then again we can always use more money especially when things get hectic you know just send our guy to the capital study technology yeah we can study technology Ooh, ooh. yeah let's go to Let's go to Hindu country. Well, not the Hindu country, but the um, Hindu kingdom that's bordering my empire. We can actually research some cultural tech over here. Uh, what's a good center of research for culture? I guess the capital. That would be the best spot. Alright, that seems pretty good thus far. So right now I'm just waiting a little bit. Does this guy like me? Minus eight. Okay, so I don't like him. All right, can we change that. Can can we be BFFs? We might be able to. Educate giant. <laughs> Demand religious conversion. Will that change my opinion about him? Probably. Yeah, let's let, let's make him convert. You must become Janist. Convert, 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 join us, join us, join us. Aha, nice. Ah, oh, now I like him a little bit more. That's good. That is A-OK. -okay. Right now, I have a bunch of autonomous vassals right now, so they're probably going to fight each other over and over again. I could change it to low, but... Probably nobody would support that thus far. Well, maybe they would. Let's check. 15 votes. Okay, open list of opponents. Yikes. Yikes. They do like me a lot. I could give them the title, actually, maybe change their mind a little bit, sweeten up the deal. I'm not giving them my main territory. Give them this territory. Yeah, why not? Aha! Nice! Nice. Good job. Good job. Look at that. Now I get more troops, more clergy vassal levies, and I get more noble vassal levies. But people don't like me in the Empire. That's okay, because I'm a pretty likable guy. Feudal taxation. I'd like at least small at this point. Yeah, let's change it. Open list of opponents. Ooh. Ooh, you do not like that one bit. You do not like that one bit. So hold on, I'm gonna give you something. Here. Will this sweeten up the deal? Ooh, that's a big chunk of land. How about we give you this one? Oh, that was my chancellor. <laughs> Whoops. Actually, this guy's actually a lot better than him. Alright, let's appoint this guy. And afterwards, let's. Go back to fabricating, fabricating the claim. In fact, how good was that guy that I give the land to? Oh, he he definitely wasn't that good. 
Okay, that's that's a relief actually. I I thought I just gave away my most pow powerful chancellor, but whatever. All good. So right now everything's a okay. We're gonna get more money. We're gonna get more stuff. So fine. Ooh, uh, gain purity but lose prestige. I'm not really a hundred percent on that. I can't really accept the courtier because again I'm chastised, which is definitely a problem. Convert to Buddhism? Hell no, no. I'm staying Janist forever. Or until I probably die. Mm, this territory still has no successor. Oh, I can take a copy combine? Really? Ooh. <laughs> Even though I'm chastised. You know what? I, I might as well get jiggy with it if you know what I mean. Hello there, concubine. <laughs> <laughs> you like me? Yeah, you do. Okay, that's good. As long as you love me. So, you know what? Let's speed this up a little bit because so far we have nothing really big to do at this point. We're still amassing wealth and stuff like that. We're gaining 11 ducats a turn. Is it ducats or is it something else? I'm not even sure. <gasps> Whoa! You see, this is what I was t telling you guys about. Early game... This civilization is just going to be focused on fighting itself more so than fighting me, which is awesome. Ooh, yes! Awesome. Oh yeah, what is our spy master doing, by the way? Is he still researching? Yes, he is. Good job, spy master. You see, spy master? You're the king. The king of the land. Well, you're the king of spying, I guess. <laughs> oh god, they're being broken apart. It's like Lego blocks or a Jenga tower. Is that how you pronounce it? A Jenga tower or is it a Django tower? Django. 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 Let's embrace the dangerous heresy. Oh, how dare he. Engage him in a theological debate. Oh my god, I can't believe I mispronounced it. Theological debate. Okay. It's available due to your high learning skill. Okay, let's do that. Let's, let's be intellectual. Aha! You see? Look at that. Hmm. Gender laws. Has not previously changed the succession law. Has reigned for at least 10 years. Is that peace? No regency. No vassals are fighting each other. Blah, blah, blah. All good. Only males can inherit. Um, I would like it if it was a daughter too. You know, we're, we're gender equal society, damn it. Youngest child inherits. I'm not liking that one bit. Yeah, no. Okay. We're going to keep it the way it is for now. So currently nothing really to do besides wait. Wait, wait, wait. In fact, let's see if we can have some claims on any of the other smaller territories. Like, I would love to attack the Hindus actually right now. Oh, wait. There, that's his leech. Whoopsie. Okay, we do have a claim. We can subjugate these territories. Well, oh, we, we can't subjugate them. But we do have a claim right over here on this province. So, you know what? Let's take that claim. Let's kick some ass or chew some bubblegum. Let's raise personal levies for now. And then afterwards, we will raise the vassal levies. Oh, whoops. Do that. County levies. There we go. Please, I don't need the entire Borg alliance to attack me at this point, or to attack this entire small little nation. I mean, it's not like we're Russia and this is Ukraine over here. Okay, come on, vassal levies race too long. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll I'll be up done with them as soon as you can say all right as rain. Ooh, we're gonna take a river penalty. God, God, Darsh, Darsh gone. Rivers, look at them. They're all over the place. India's divided between rivers. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Righteous imprisonment. 
if he flees, he'll just, I don't know, start a revolt. I don't want to really start a revolt. Wow, really? That That's his goal? To become the king of Malwa? You know what? You know what? Let, let, let's not do anything for now. Well, can I assassinate him? Does that work? Actually, has a higher chance. It will be a black stain on my honor. I'm gonna die anyway. Oh, it's a 27% chance of succeeding. 53% of getting caught. Oh, um. You know, I could send him a gift. Oh, no, he actually wants to fight us. Okay. So, you know what? Just imprison his ass. Oh. Okay, good job. Thank you, guards. All right, we'll deal with him soon. For now, we'll, let's just kick this elephant guy's ass right now. In fact, I could probably raise some levies from my various vassals. Yeah, right over there. That's good. That's good. Okay, 900. 900 guys. That's okay. Okay, everybody, come on, gather up right over there, and then afterwards we're going to push on that 404 stack. I mean, 404 army stack. 404.exe has not been found. <laughs> okay, we have no character to choose from to utilize because our marshal's right over here. Okay, smash the 1,000 man stack right over there. Good. Please, no river penalty. No, there won't be a river penalty. Awesome. Come on, come on. Damn it! Gosh darn movement. Oh well. We'll just continue to smash this faction. Nice. Good, good, good. Keep smashing them. Smash them, smash them, smash them. Ah, the sun was born. Nice. That's good. I always like the sun. Little child. Thank God we didn't pick that law that actually made succession available to the youngest. Oh, because that would have been terrible. Okay, now you attack right over there. And we're just going to sit our butts over here. In fact, how about this? Split up the army. We'll select this half to go around and start killing everything. Seems like a good idea. I like that idea. Good. Ooh. 30 prestige or 100 gold. You know what? Prestige is always nice. I like prestige. Come on. Come on. Keep clearing that I'm out. Da, 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 da. Nice. Oh, how how dare you, sir, sir? How dare you move out of the way of this wrecking ball right over here? Huh. Something went down. Inherited and other titles. Okay, I'm going to have to keep an eye on him because... He has a ton of titles actually on his sort of uh, belt right over here. He's kind of like General Grievous in the sense where if you, uh, if he kills like another Jedi, then he gains sort of their lightsaber and then afterwards can just use it against the other opponents that he's fighting against. So hopefully he doesn't turn into General Grievous because that would be really bad. Ah, money. Nice. What? What? Apart from more serious events, you have found that a lot of a little strange bad things happen around the Great Diamond. Several servants who have handled it have died. People around whisper and gossip. They say the diamond is cursed. It will bring woe on your dynasty. You are beginning to wonder if they may not be right. Hmm. Door in the river. No, it's my precious. Yeah, let's just sell it. Seems like the best idea gold for diamond I mean come on that sounds like it's steel 
No, it's over. Just leave the diamond. Leave it. We don't need a diamond. If it's cursed, it's cursed. Listen, if I've watched as much Lord of the Rings as I have, I can tell you for a fact that inanimate objects that do bad shit to your brain are really bad. What, what is going on there? Okay. We're done. Give me that territory. And I will spare you. Nice. Good. This is excellent. This is an excellent, excellent day. One conquest here, one conquest there. And you know what? Let's offer peace. Enforce demands. And that's pretty much it. Nice. Your low character is the subject of Greek plays. I accept your offer of peace. How do you know anything about Greek plays anyway? Wait, hold on a second. You're part of the Indian subcontinent. You know what? That's going to end it off here. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys have any suggestions on how to play this, please let me know. Bye-bye, and I'll see you guys next time.